For the CV-90, with its APF-SDS-T round, there were two targets. One target, inclined at 30 degrees, had 20 mm thick and 40 mm thick armor plates, plus two 1 mm thick witness plates. The total penetration path was 120 mm. The other target, inclined at 56 degrees, was a 100 mm thick armor plate with two witness plates. This target, too, had a total penetration path of 120 mm. Time for target inspection. The guests could see how both targets were fully penetrated. The witness plates, too, exhibited many penetrations. Now a change to 3P ammunition fired from the CV-90. Firing number one, a five-round salvo in gated proximity mode with and without impact priority. Target, a helicopter. Range, 900 meters. Time for the replay. Result, total destruction from direct hits and proximity fuse bursts. This was followed by two firings at containers representing light and lightly armed ground targets. The ammunition for the first of these firings, three rounds of 3P set for impact function. The second target was reinforced with 15 millimeter thick armor. The ammunition, three rounds of 3P in armor piercing mode. Immediately after this came the 3P programmed for time function. It was fired at dismounted infantry dummies. Now the replay from the target area. Result of the impact mode firings, complete internal destruction. That's interesting. The armor piercing mode firings, complete destruction through the combined effects of intense heat, overpressure and fragments. The time mode firings. All the dummies sustained multiple hits. The ground sheet showed the fragment density over the ground area. 